All right. Make up for what's lost. All right, what do we still have running around? Looks like we have purple running around. Yo, brain dead. Come on over here. Well, you're smarter than Red was. Okay. There's the other purple. Or another one. There were four. I'll settle for getting two of them back here. Well, okay, you guys make up for what's lost. Okay. I don't quite get what's going on with that door. Perhaps what I should do is put pressure plates on them. On the outside, that is. Oh, we'll see. Okay, what do we have down here? Two more. See if maybe I can... Yeah, good. I just got the one of them. Get in here, Blue. Oh, for crying out loud. You mean to tell me you're not going to fit through that door? Are you that much of a lard butt? Yo, brain fart, get over here. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, you're about stupid, you know that? Fine. We'll just... Put you out of my misery. I'm not going to chase you all over creation anyway. Yes, zombie and creeper, I see you. All right. Enough of this noise. Anybody that isn't in now isn't coming in. So I'm going to take a few minutes and get some of the white ones from down here. Herd them up here somewhere or another. 
get them in there, dye them blue, and do some breeding to get my population back to where it's supposed to be. And then I think I'm going to come up with pressure plate for the door. Or something like that. We'll see. Alright, I've got these guys uh, bred back up to four. So now I'm going to open the gate and see if I can get to lead just two of them out and lead them down to the blue pen. Yo, I'm talking to you. Come on. Come on. Two of you. Do I have to get pussy? hard enough to get them in there in the first place and now they won't come out? Come on. Any two of you. I don't care which two. Okay, you guys are the winners. Come on. Oh, for crying out loud. But every other sheep in this barn is after this week. These two don't want to do nothing. I've noticed that they get noisier when there's wheat visible to them. Okay, this is apparently going to take a while, so... Well, it's about time. They're both following me down here. thing. And they can do it until they turn blue. Alright. Everybody's back where they belong. We need one more white one for this one. And so on. So it's a little bit more breeding and so. But we're at least on the way. And as for the door, I think, well, that wasn't very smart, but that's okay. Taking these iron doors off of here. And what I'll probably do is just put a single iron door in the middle with a pressure plate to control it. Or maybe a push button or something. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. As for the moment, I need to wait for Junior here to grow up so that these two can breed. And a couple of times, actually. So that I can get another white one down there to where the orange is. And then dye that one. In the meantime... I'm going to AFK while this one grows up, and I'm going to turn my sound off for a few minutes. All right, let's see if they will cooperate now. Just one of you, please. Come 
Come on. Alright, you come down here. up down on this end. Breeding time here. And it won't be long and we'll be back to 64 sheep. 64 extremely bouncy, extremely noisy sheep. And it's night or I'd go run out there and take care of the door situation now. I can wait. I just sit here and pace back and forth and bounce. It seems to be the thing to do these days. I don't know. I don't see the attraction. It makes me dizzy. It does seem that they're sometimes a little bit less agitated when the wheat isn't selected, so maybe I'll just remember to not have that selected unless I mean business. And what I'm going to do with the doors, I will put the iron doors back on, and I'll have a switch on the outside and a pressure plate to work it on the inside, and that should take care of that. And we won't have any more creepers coming up and blowing up in the middle of the barn. All right, now let's see about fixing this door problem. Door here. Switch there to open it. pressure plate to work it from the inside. Okay, this is getting annoying. I know what I'll do. Alright. This isn't exactly what I wanted to do, but it will at least work. And what I'll have to do in the meantime is look up some something about how to do this right with iron doors. I know I could use a push button, but a push button doesn't stay open long enough to get through it. So I'd have to look up some kind of uh, way to put a pulse extender circuit on that so that the door will actually stay open long enough to get through it, but not long enough to let a whole world full of uh, creepers and zombies and stuff to come in. We'll figure something out. Maybe I'll just, uh, when 1.2 comes along, get a hold of a cat or two and set them outside and let them deal with it. In the meantime, I have one more breeding to do on the white sheep back here when they get ready for that. And honestly, they might be ready now. So let's give that one little shot here. Alright. We're back to 64 sheep. And, uh, I'm actually thinking that, uh, I might just be a little bit crazy here and invite myself a whole bunch more trouble 
by expanding this place. And, uh, well, let's just block it out with some dirt here. Like so, bring it out further. And then, of course, even with the top that's already there. Obviously, I'd be doing this with planks. And then take this all the way down there. And then, even with the fence that's in there, put fence in here to set this off into sections. And then once that's all done and the wall's built up and everything, to tear the lower two blocks out of this wall, move the windows out that way, and then double the number of sheep in each pen. It's, like I said, it's asking for trouble. It's asking for even more annoyance and lag, but it would also make it easier to come up with plenty of any particular color fairly quickly. Alright, that's the basic idea of it, and I'm going to go ahead and leave this partial sort of kind of frame in place and I'm gonna think about it. I'm not 100% sure I want to do that, but in terms of making it more effective, it might be an idea. I also need to do something about spiders because there have been spiders jumping on me off the roof a couple of times now already. And so I'm gonna to have to put some kind of spider prevention along the edge here like uh, stairs facing outwards so that the spiders can't climb up there. And I guess maybe something like that along here, although I'm not sure how good that's going to work. And then in the realm of glutton for punishment, along in this part of the open space, I'm figuring a nice good sized fenced in area with cattle. As if the bleeding sheep isn't enough, let's have some cows moaning and groaning too. Well, we'll think about that. In the meantime, take it easy. I'm out of here.